process of secreting more or less antidiuretic hormone to control your water, right? But what about our hypothalamus? What else does it do to you if you are losing too much water? It not only will produce more antidiuretic hormone and make the kidney retain more water, perhaps make you sweat less too, lose less water that way. What does it also do to you? It will make you thirsty, make you want to drink. The thirst is there, because if you're dehydrated, one of the symptoms of dehydration is a dry mouth and extreme thirst, and the hypothalamus is telling you, drink, 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 take some more water in. I'm trying to keep all I can, but you need to take more in because you're not getting enough. Now, if you drink a lot of water, and the hypothalamus senses that and, and drops the level of ADH, and lets more water go out of your body, you're certainly not going to be as thirsty then, are you? You're going to quench your thirst. That's, that's what we call that. So, It's involved in not only uh, carrying on these physiologies quietly, but also producing urges like thirst, what other urge might be involved with the hypothalamus too? Basic feeling. Hunger, yeah. When you're real hungry, when your blood glucose is low, when your stomach is turning and you need that food, hypothalamus is telling you, eat, eat. And when you eat enough, you get satiated, it says, okay, I, I can't eat anymore. No. doesn't work the same in everybody, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, there are, people, there are people that have had problems with their hypothalamus that have caused them to either not desire to eat, or to eat too much, or not drink when they're supposed to. There are abnormalities there for sure. It also is involved with other uh, feelings too, like sexual feelings, sexual drives, and things like that as part of the, uh, what we call the old limbic system, as you may have learned in the AP room. But, uh, these diagrams should help you quite a bit, looking at this one and remembering this phrase and then the next, uh, the next one. And I don't want to uh, scare you folks into making you think 50% of the test is going to be on this stuff. <coughs> There'll just be a few questions, but I want you to understand it for sure so you don't miss that.